Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot reading for September 2021, honey. Can you believe we're already in September? So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you, Leo, in this monthly reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below, darling, which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments as well. We're going to look at these as well. If you do enjoy this tarot reading today, Leo, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and i always appreciate it when you do um but remember leo that i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you put it in perspective you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to be considering uh but never making the choices in your life darling because it's your life to live not mine leo so let's just jump into your monthly tarot reading today leo because spoiler alert i looked at these cards i took a peek at them honey and i really like what it is that's coming towards you for this month so uh let me show you these cards individually first so we have the ten of swords coming in for you leo so you guys are definitely coming out of a rough period right uh we have the page of cups coming in as well you coming out of a rough period and quickly replacing it with something fabulous darling and then you have the two of wands coming in for you, Leo. So this is going to be a big month for you, Leo. A very, very big month for you. Um, I'm really excited for you guys, actually, because... Um, you know, I always like to say, Leo, whatever your objective is, I really feel strongly in terms of relationships, whether it's platonic or romantic, Leo. Um, I really do feel like some of you guys are going to be getting into relationships. And if not getting into relationships, if you are in a relationship of some type, Leo, I do feel like some relationship in your life is going to be going getting deeper. This is giving me very much so... Um, on it, well, I don't want to say engagement quite yet because I feel like that's getting a little bit ahead of myself, but there's definitely this sense of uh, getting closer with the current relationship if it's not something new coming in because page of cups represents either the coming in of a new person or opportunity right because that's what pages can represent opportunities or really uh, people um or this is like a sense of um yeah, this is really just coming out of a very rough period with you guys, Ten of Swords. Um, and this is just giving me very much so big plans. Two of Wands, this is to all talking about your future, all talking about the long term, right? And so... And also references to contracts. And so regardless of whatever it is that you're that you've been dealing with, Leo, I do feel as if shortly into September, and I just heard like the first week, I would say, is what you're gonna be having like your ten of swords moment in this. Um now I know for some of you Leos, you might be like tilting your head and, and being like, Well, Velka, like girl, I don't like the Ten of Swords, right? Now the Ten of Swords in this deck, and I was just explaining it to Aries as well in their monthly reading, but the Ten of Swords talks about in this deck where it's like you just getting out of like a rough period where it's just like a bunch of chaos and then finally the sun coming up after a very rough night or after a bunch of chaos right and so it's like you're finally letting the sun touch your skin after like having like a you know some of you guys if you work like a graveyard shift y'all would understand entirely what i mean by this honey because i used to work your graveyard shift as well of where it's just like you just had a really rough night honey right you had a really rough shift and then you walk outside the sun's out and you're just like oh everything's gonna be okay and i feel like that's really the theme for you guys uh aries is that everything's going to be okay you guys are going to be having um opportunity or uh, the current uh, like a current opportunity or current situation deepening or something coming in powerfully like a new offer coming in or a new person coming into your life some y'all are going to be in something committed is all i want to really just hone in on uh for you leo is that y'all are going to be getting into something really commit i feel like i called your aries just earlier i'm sorry if i did <laughs> uh, anytime i bring up another zodiac sign then my brain is just like oh let me just say that then um but no leo like i know this is not gonna be something like if you're watching this before september fully comes in you're gonna be like yeah whatever velka but um no truly like i feel very confident with you guys um 
very much so big plans this month. I do feel as if during this month of September, whatever happens this month, I am just getting this reference of that's going to be like your new focus or like the main thing that's going to be keeping your mind busy for quite some time as well. So this is why I'm really like showcasing, like trying to explain in that like maybe engagement's getting a little bit ahead of myself, but it's definitely something of, um, it's like, getting your toes wet with something new and actually like really enjoying it right it's like a nice change of pace from what it was that you were experiencing in august leo so let's expound on this right let's get some clarifiers let's see here seven of cups so definitely choices here it's not just like one specific thing for you leo Let's pull some more, though, this before I get too ahead of myself. Eight of Pentacles. Girl, Leo, I'm already going to just say this ahead of time. Some of you guys are just not going to receive this message or just not be believing me. It's going to be like one of those things of being like, yeah, whatever, Velka. This is just too good to be true. You're just sounding like another tarot reader that's adding a whole bunch of full of honey. Maybe, right? But no, even if you look up the meaning of these cards, like you'll understand why it's just, girl, come on, Leo. Y'all going to piss me off if you don't receive this reading, honey. <laughs> Because this is so fabulous. This is so fabulous. This is showcasing to me, right, with the Seven of Cups here. Um, now, we can go into this in two different narratives, and it's going to be dependent on, obviously, whatever the situation looks like for you, right? For my single Leos, in, in terms of love, right, in terms of trying to make a connection, um, it doesn't even have to be romance. It could be just, like, multiple different offers coming in in terms of, like, different friendships or different connections that you could dabble into, um, but Seven of Cups lets me know that it's not just like one specific thing that like you feel pigeonholed into. And that's why I like it because I don't like ever, I mean, for myself personally, I guess maybe I'm just projecting Leo, but, um, uh, you know, some people like, I like having options, I suppose. I like having options with things. And so... Um, I do feel as if like you guys are going to be having a bunch of options or different ways to go about uh, this month to really elevate yourself. And I say elevate because of this Eight of Pentacles. Elevation is the name of the game when it comes to the Eight of Pentacles uh, because it's talking, you, I believe in the definition of it, Leo. Uh, most people call this like going back to school and uh, furthering your education with something. But, you know, like one, school is not everything, darling. And two, Eight of Pentacles to me me is just representing your just up leveling right and so i really just it really hones into the same message as i was saying before leo of where i get this very strong sense that some of you guys are just going to be there's just like taking like something that you're already committed to to the next level if it's something that you're already committed to or something new that's going to be just something very um rewarding for you something that actually will be for the long term like i what is that saying leo some of you guys would already know what i'm talking about where it's like um, I'm going to butcher this, Leo, but it's like uh, that for, phrase where it's just like some people are there for a season or a reason or for, a, girl, you get it, right? But I feel like whoever is coming in, if this is about a person or even if it's about like a job or something, an opportunity, it's going to be more than just like a temporary thing, right? It's going to be more than, it's not going to be temporary, like these temporary tattoos, honey, like that I have on me, right? You, whatever is coming towards you, honey, it's going to last a lot longer than these temporary tattoos, if that makes sense um so it's really just something that i feel like that's just going to keep you busy and it just is going to be feeling really good for you uh leo because three of cups right um ooh, that voice crack darling um <laughs> three of cups here now three of cups this is uh talking about again this fits fabulously with the seven of cups in terms of like i do feel as if it's more than just like one person uh coming into your life coming in with offers coming in with the opportunity for you to just further engage with them right i just heard very like usually again i'm always very conscious leo and not just making things about romance because i feel like that's dismissive of those who are not caring about romance or are what have you um but i really get a strong sense of like friendships with this reading i really get the sense of where some of you guys are going to be finding like your soul tribe even um and I say this because, again, with this Eight of Pentacles here, it's like this sense of up-leveling. It feels almost as if, like, whatever is coming towards you, Leo, it's going to be just 
it's just so much better. Like it just feels so much more mature uh, compared to whatever it was that you were dealing with from before. Maybe that was like lesser energy from before. That was, that is what caused that pain from the Ten of Swords from prior. Um, but the Three of Cups talks about celebration as well. Even if we were to take out people out of the equation, darling, right? This is a card of celebration, right? So when you consider all of this, right? If you consider this in terms of just whatever your objective may be outside of relationships in your life um this is just quite literally the sense of like very big on promotions but i don't even feel as if promotions gives the seriousness or like the depth that um this really means to me because i feel like with a promotion or just like a raise i mean obviously it's, it, can, it definitely will be that way for some of you guys but i just feel like it's just something more I feel like it's just something m much greater than what is normal just because of the two of wands and that page of cups coming in together. Um, it, it just is like such a powerful, powerful, powerful thing of where it's like whatever this new thing coming in for you, it's going to just really just stick with you and you're going to just really, really enjoy it. And so now let's close this energy off here with a couple of cards. Let's see here. Page of Pentacles. This is what I was anticipating. This is um, the card of extending their pen like communication, right? Someone extending communication to you. Um, but also, this is just a sense of offers. Pages, Page of Pentacles referencing like things just being given, right? Leo, so there's this constant theme in your reading. Also, Page of Pentacles, pages representing new energy as well. There's just, there, there's this constant theme, Leo, in that you guys are just going to be receiving just like a lot of different opportunities a lot of different offers just like things coming towards you leo kind of similar fashion to aries but not really i guess like aries has like their own thing going on where it's like they have to just work on themselves first um and then things are going to kind of like naturally work out for you guys leo i really get like a very strong extroverted energy in this right i feel like you're going to be i'm going to be surprised if you meet like another leo or someone that's like you would like look at them and be like, oh, you probably have Leo in your chart, huh? Don't, don't you, honey? Just someone that like, I just feel like, I feel as if this is just a very outgoing energy. And it could just be your own energy where you feel outgoing with whatever this opportunity is. But I just feel very strongly in that if this is about a person uh, coming into your life, Leo, that it's definitely going to be someone that matches your energy um, big time. Six of Swords coming in here. Why is the Six of Swords here? The devil card. Okay, so this is what I was suspecting from before, as I was kind of hinting at with the Ten of Swords here, right? Whatever it is that you dealt with in the past, whatever put these swords in your back, honey, well, I guess in this deck, deck you don't see swords, but usually in the Ten of Swords, darling, you'll see a bunch of swords in an in, 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 in individual's back. Excuse me. And so whatever it was that, whatever rough period that you dealt with during August that brought you pain, that was just really such a distraction, right? Especially with this devil card here, you're definitely like, this is what you're up leveling from. And so the best way I would put this, I'm sorry, Aries, I had some lunch before I did y'all's reading. <laughs> and so it's like not trying to like make me like burp and I'm not trying to have like burp in y'all's ear with this expensive microphone, honey. Um, <laughs> so I guess the best way I can really put this, Leo, if you're trying to figure out where this, where you could anticipate this blessing coming in is where I feel like it's related to whatever this is with this devil that you're moving on from. Like, I feel like you're up leveling from this devil to something much better, much more rewarding, right? So I feel like it's it's going to be in that same theme if you just dealt with some heartbreak i feel like someone come out someone else is going to be coming in to really rectify that heartbreak even if it's just a platonic thing as well like again like leo like i know this is this would be like such an easy reading for a tarot reader to just be like oh yeah definitely new love coming in right but i just really get this every single time i start referencing when it comes to people i just get this strong gut instinct that it's going to be like friendships i feel very strongly that you guys are going to be making some very like just some lifelong connections or like connections that will be in your life for a long time. Um, and I don't even feel like, like, I feel like a lot of you guys is just going to be like someone that just like matches your energy and just is like a friend really for you. Um, but yeah, six of swords is like you put, once you put distance to it, like it's going to be very much so like a nice, 
I like this a lot, right? I'm gonna like close this uh, spread out because I feel like I'm really just uh, harping on it, Sterling, right? I'm pretty long-winded and I do apologize for that, Leo. So now let's just get some advice on your from your spirit guides and ancestors, uh, Leo, for September 2021. Let's see, because I can talk about all this fabulous stuff, darling, but if you don't get guidance on how to go about uh, further getting yourself from point A to point B to this, then it serves no purpose, right? So let's see what your guides and ancestors have to say. Judgment card coming in here. Ace of Pentacles coming in as well. Uh, I said Aries. Leo. I apologize. Aries got the Ace of Pentacles, and that's why um, from their pre-shuffle, that's why like my brain was thinking about Aries. And then the Queen of Swords coming in here, Leo. So the advice from your spirit guides is I feel almost as if, Leo, you guys need to not be afraid of taking action in terms of like how I always describe the Ace of Pentacles is whatever your main focus is, right? Whatever your objective is, the thing that you've been desiring. And I feel like the message for some of you Leos that you need to hear is you need to not be afraid of taking action towards these goals, right? If your goal is to have like better relationships in your life, don't be afraid of making the actions of you know, being by yourself and be like, you know what, you know, if you, you, there's this saying where it's just like, look at the, give me, show me your five closest friends and I'll tell you how your life will be, right? Because it's, there's this common thing of where it's like the people closest to you kind of like summarizes like how you are as a person as well. And so I feel like the message coming in for you, Leo, is where you need to not be afraid. If people are pissing you off, if people are just like not appreciating you, not valuing you, uh, Leo, not treating you right, taking you for for granted do not be afraid of taking action where it leaves you looking like the queen of swords now the queen of swords admittedly i i have to apologize to the queen of swords every time i see her because i am pretty critical towards her usually but the queen of swords is someone that is not afraid of looking like the looking like a jerk right coming off as the jerk because the queen of swords is all about boundaries right and when you set boundaries you might piss some people off but with the queen of swords she don't care about pissing people off because she knows her worth does that make sense and so if this is about a job if this is about a person do not be afraid of walking away from things that just no longer serve you because i do feel as if this is going to be distracting you um from welcoming in that new energy remember what i was just talking about before Leo, with this uh, devil card and the six of swords. Just, if you guys have been having some reservations in terms of putting distance between that devil or fully, uh, for some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys need to, Leo, accept the fact that there's a situation that is kind of a devil, right? And, you know, devil really villainizes an energy, but really what I want you to think of the devil is, is kind of like something that is impeding you towards your goal, slowing you down to getting you from your to your ace of pentacles. So something I really want to point out, queen of wands coming in a lot of queen energy coming in out of nowhere um and something i want to point out because of this uh leo is like queens are just generally very unapologetic right queens are very unapologetic and very in tune with their emotions and so queen of wands stepping forward this is quite literally the card like this queen of wands i guess kind of encompasses the judgment card and the ace of pentacles together right the queen of wands isn't afraid of um going after what it is that she personally desires right i know you can't really see it from this far away uh leo but in this deck like you'll see her holding a flame in her hand um and she's celebrating it she's just like very much so excited about that flame representing like her own desires her own passions so um again it's very much so just be very unapologetically you Leo, be very unapologetically Leo, and I feel as if everything else is just going to fall into place. Five of Swords, yeah, for some reason, Leo, I get the sense that whatever is getting in your head, right, this Five of Swords, you know, um, if you look at this card, you'll see like a bird on the individual's right shoulder, which is kind of like that devil on your shoulder, uh, whispering that self-doubt or what have you. Um, and there's also a person in the back here, you might just see like a little black silhouette, uh, Leo, and this is kind of the representation, kind of shows showcasing to me maybe someone in your environment that kind of got you got in your head where you're just like ooh, you know as an example uh leo um you know so you may have been with a friend had a friend or been in a relationship or at a job where it's just like oh leo you talk too much you're too loud and so from that point forward that was kind of in your head being like oh am i too much right you're not too much you need to just cut things out that are not serving for your greater good because it's going to be quickly replacing um 
you're going to quickly be replacing the uh, devil card, as I was saying before from earlier in your reading. I can't, I never have done this before for a general reading as well, Leo, but I do feel as if you guys, a lot of you guys would benefit from watching this reading twice because I'm like reflecting on what I was saying early at the beginning of this reading and saving me from like harping back on it. Like, I feel like this whole reading is going to make a lot more sense to you um, and all the puzzle pieces will just really click together really quickly for you guys if you were to watch this back twice. Um, I've never told people to do that <laughs> before for a general reading, but um, that is just something that I'm getting a uh, strong impression for you guys, Leo. But um, yeah, darlings, that is the week weekly monthly tarot reading that I have for you for September 2021. I also do your weekly uh, tarot readings as well, Leo, uh, for all the zodiac signs. If you'd like to check those out, if you'd like to book a private to personal reading with me, Leo, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that just being Simply Velka, honey. Uh, but yeah, I love you so much, Leo. I, your story's about to get so fabulous, darling. Um, and let me know what connections come forward to you guys this month, because I do, without fail, I know you guys are going to be developing some new friendships, new connections, and it's going to be lovely, darling. So I love you so much, Leo. Bye.